Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It is that time of the month again. Not the time that you're thinking of, but the other time. It's empties time. So I've got a basket of crap and I'm going to show you what's in it. So the first thing is this little lush package here and this was the Phoenix Rising bath bomb, bubble bath, was it a bubble bath or not? I don't know. But it was awesome. I think they discontinued it though. There was a lot of glitter. Um, yeah, I don't know. Good. Smelled good. Don't really have an opinion. Probably wouldn't repurchase. I know I'm probably going to get like, I don't know, killed for saying this, but blush is not my favorite thing ever. So, you know. Um, the next thing I finished is this Clairol Hair Food Moisture Hair Mask infused with honey apricot fragrance. This I got um, sent to me complimentary by Influencer.com and this stuff was pretty awesome actually. I used it as a conditioner about once a week because it's supposed to be like a hair mask. But I felt like it smelled delicious and it really helped keep my hair moist throughout the summer. That's a really gross word, moist. Anyway, but yeah, so I really did enjoy this stuff. Next, I have my Chi 44 Iron Guard Thermal Protection Spray. Um, I straighten my hair a lot, um, or I wear it up. It's either straight or up. There is no in-between. Um, so I really liked this stuff. I think I got this in a FabFitFun box like a year ago. But yeah, so I love this. I love the smell of it. It makes me feel fancy. I'm just like, I don't know. I've got Iggy Azalea's Fancy playing in my head when I'm using that. <laughs> Alright, next is my Secret Powder Fresh Deodorant. This is just a travel size because I was traveling a lot this summer, so that's good. You guys know I love the Secret Deodorants. This is another signature for me. It's the Kirkland Signature Daily Facial Towelettes, and this is the 30 pack. Um, this time it actually like completely fell apart, and that's never happened to me before, so yeah, but I love these. Next is something that I got in an Ipsy bag a couple months ago. It's the Skin Iceland Solutions for Stressed Skin Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels. And it was just this. I'll probably... It came with two little strips you just put under here and it's supposed to depuff your eyes. I used it actually like a week ago and I thought it did pretty awesome. Um, I'll probably insert a picture of me wearing them right now because I totally went to the drive-thru with those on no shame but yeah so these were pretty great I don't know the price range for them but depending on the price range I would totally purchase it again and I think they sent me two so I have one more sitting in my cabinet somewhere all right the next thing I have is this starburst scented candle in watermelon um, this is just the box for it but this is like the little container that it was burning in um, I got these at the Dollar Tree there was another one I think in my last empties video and like it's a cool idea but it doesn't really have a big scent throw so I burn it in my bathroom and I still couldn't really smell it so as cool as it was I wouldn't repurchase this. Alright next thing I have in here is the Bath and Body Works Deep Cleansing Hand Soap in Aloha Orchid. This one is Lush Orchid and Iced Papaya. Um, let's smell it. Yeah, this one was a nice fresh scent, um, very summertime. Um, I love this, but I've actually taken a break from buying Bath & Body Works hand soaps, um, and I'm actually buying little dollar ones from Walmart now because you girl gotta save money. College students are broke, so yeah, but I do love these ones as well. I've also finished a Wild Madagascar Vanilla Body Lotion from Bath & Body Works. I love this scent so much. It's like up there in my top three favorites now. Love it. Another staple is the Equate Multipurpose Solution for contact lenses. I love this stuff. Um, just a random fact of the day. They changed the packaging for like the one that I'm using currently has a different top and it really makes me upset. And yeah so whatever but that's just like beside the point i do love this stuff and it's really affordable next i have the pure silk rich and luxurious shave cream in the raspberry mist scent um this just looks like this i got it because i was traveling this summer and i needed something to shave my legs because my little sister got married so i got this it was all right the smell kind of 
bothered me, but it did its purpose, so that was cool. But I do prefer my Skin to Mint, I think is the brand that I prefer. But this, this worked. I have another thing of makeup wipes. I don't even remember where I got these. I know I didn't pay for them. I think I got it in an influencer box. Maybe I bought them. I don't know. But it's the Olay Fresh Effects Everything Off Deluxe Makeup Removal Wet Cloths, and it just looks like this. The packaging is super cute, but I don't remember loving these as much as I love my Kirkland Signature ones, so I won't be purchasing these anytime soon. Alright, this was another Lush thing. Um, I'll put whatever it is down here. I know it was like a lavender scented bubble bath thing, um, and it was awesome and I loved it, but I don't remember what it was called, so I'll just leave it down here, but this was something that I probably would repurchase from Lush, even though it's not my favorite place ever. The next thing is the Lemon Meringue Cheer um, hand soap, and this is the Lemon Zesty or Lemon Zest Fluffy Meringue and Powdered Sugar um, Hand Soap from Bath & Body Works. The packaging on this is so cute, like the blue writing is all glittered and stuff, um, but I don't think I liked this one very much. Yeah, no, it's not my favorite. Like, it's I, but if I was going to go for a lemon scent from Bath & Body Works, I would do the Kitchen Lemon as opposed to this one, but it was good. Oh, wow, look at this. It's the Secret pH Balanced Powder Fresh Deodorant. So obviously, your girl stinks. It's fine. This next thing is a Bliss Fat Girl Scrub. And before you get all crazy, it's like, it's supposed to help tighten your skin or whatever. I don't know, it was swimsuit season. So I was like, I'll try it. And I got it like on extreme discount. And it smelled really good but I don't feel like it really helped to do anything. I would just like, it came with this little scrubber thing, this knobby scrubbing whatever, and I would just put it on my legs when I was in the shower and I forgot to do it like all the time, but whenever I did remember, I would just put it on like my upper leg, thighish, buttish area, you know, and then I would just kind of like rub it in there and it was supposed to help like tighten things and whatever. Like obviously it's not supposed to make you look like a supermodel cause you know, fitness, but it was supposed to like, Titan or I don't even know but I don't feel like it did anything that was worth the money I guess I wouldn't repurchase this the next thing I have in here is the Pantene miracle repairing shampoo in a travel size because I was traveling again um, I love Pantene products they smell so good and they really do help keep my hair moisturized Next is a travel size herbal essence body wash in Hello Hydration with coconut extract. And I liked the scent of this, but it's not my favorite body wash. I do prefer the Bath and Body Works body washes to this one. Next is another thing. I did for sure get this in an influencer box and this was the CoverGirl The Super Sizer. Um, and this was just a mascara. The brush looked like this. It was very kind of cool. It was like, I don't even know if you guys can see that, but it was super thin, and then it kind of just, like, went, like, whoop, you know? And, like, it was chill. I really loved it when I first started using it, but as soon as it started to dry out, it started to flake like nobody's business. So, I don't know, like, it's kind of like a love-hate relationship with this one, because it really did lengthen my lashes. Like, it was crazy, guys. For a drugstore mascara, it was crazy. But then, as soon as it started to dry out even a tiny bit, it started flaking a lot, and so I looked like a raccoon by the end of the day, which was not Gucci, so, you know. Um, I also have a wrapper in here for, what is this? Restore Balance Heavenly by Weston. Uh, this was a soap shaped like a leaf. It kind of reminded me of like the little leaves that the hobbits had on their little cloaks you know like the one where it gets stepped on by the orc when they're running away and then like I don't even know is it Aragon or Legolas who shows up and starts like oh my gosh here's a leaf they're alive and then there's Gimli just in the back just hanging out like that'd be me I would be Gimli in this scenario like 600 miles behind everybody else but I'm like I'm coming guys anyway that was a long tangent but I really this is like currently being gone through but I thought I'd include it so this is pretty cool. Stole that from a Weston 
hotel, I guess. It wasn't stealing. You know you're allowed to take it, but you know. Um, next is this Montagna Gen Genese Pressed Sea Kelp Dead Sea Mud Spa Mask. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I got it at Big Lots, it looks like. It says it has real mud, dead sea, and sea kelp. And this was like a um, fabric mask, so you like took it out, unfolded it, and put it on your face. Um, I don't really like this. Like, I don't know. I could feel it on my skin and it was very like invigorating, but when I like took it off and washed everything off, it really didn't do much. But it was only a dollar at Big Lots, so it wasn't like a huge loss, but I don't think I would be repurchasing this one um, in particular. Ooh. Okay, so here's another Lush thing. I know I say I don't like Lush that much, but apparently I went ham. And I think this one was actually the Phoenix Rising one because this one is covered in the purple. Um, yeah, I think that's what this one was. So the other one must have been my Dragon Egg one because I do love the Dragon Egg, so I kind of have repurchased that several times, but... This was the Phoenix Rising. Not a huge fan, but it was I. Alright, so I have also finished a Victoria's Secret Coconut Passion Body Wash, and it says that the hints are vanilla and coconut. And I really wasn't a huge fan of this scent. It started to smell like Play-Doh after a while, so it's not my favorite. I really love coconut scents, but um, I still prefer the Bath & Body Works body, uh, body washes to the Victoria's Secret ones. And I wouldn't recommend this scent. I'm still trying to work through the body spray and that's killing me because I feel like I walk out the door smelling like Play-Doh, but it's fine. Um, yeah, it's just not my favorite scent from them. Next, I have my Crest 3D White Radiant Mint Toothpaste. I love this stuff, already repurchased another one. So I would highly recommend this one. I do feel like it really helps to freshen my breath and whiten my teeth. Next, I have the Listerine Cool Mint Antiseptic Mouthwash. Um, this is a travel size because I picked it up while I was traveling. Um, yeah, and I enjoyed this. I feel like it helped make my breath fresh, but it didn't do anything for whitening, which I don't think it claims to. Yeah, it doesn't claim to. So if you don't want a whitening one, I prefer the whitening mouthwashes, um, but if you just want like a fresher breath kind of feeling, then this is a great one. Next, I finished the Herbal Essences Body Envy Volumizing Shampoo. And what did this one? This one smelled like citrus essences is what it says. Yeah, this one smelled freaking delicious. Um, so I enjoyed the scent of this, but it really didn't do anything for my hair. I already have a decent amount of volume, I feel like, or body, whatever it is. Like, that never bothered me. The problem is keeping my hair moisturized so I would not repurchase this, but I think I got it for Christmas last year and that's why I had it. Um, but yeah, so I prefer moisturizing so I wouldn't repurchase that one. Even though I do love Herbal Essence, I just don't need the Body Envy one. So next, this is a ridiculous thing, I know, but it's the Works Basic Deodorizing Toilet Bowl Cleaner. And I got this at the Dollar Tree and I just wanted to say some of the cleaning supplies at the Dollar Tree are awesome, but this one wasn't one of them, it really didn't do much like it smelled good but it was just kind of I don't feel like it really cleaned my toilet if that makes sense and I know this is kind of a weird thing to start talking about but like I don't know the window cleaner though at the dollar store is super good so you can go for that one and the disinfectant wipes are good too I think I got those there pretty sure but yeah not this <laughs> not okay um, even the shower cleaner like the shower foam cleaner that one's good not the toilet cleaner all right so after that i finished this eos i don't know it was one of the sunshine sarah ray something or other ones um yeah but this one it didn't smell like the normal tangerine it smelled almost like an orange creamsicle so i freaking adored this i don't think they sell it anymore it was like one of the limited edition ones because it has like little wings on it but i really enjoyed this i love eos lip balms Next, I have a sample of the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. I love this to death. Like, love it. Um, yeah, it. the brush looks like this. Woohoo! 
but yeah so that's what the brush looks like but it really helped like volumize and lengthen um basically it was just the bee's knees and it's right up there with my better than sex mascara I have a little travel size Colgate cavity protection fluoride toothpaste. This was nothing special. I wasn't into it at all, but I used it up because I had it laying around. I finished up this roller ball of the Wonderstruck perfume by Taylor Swift. I loved this scent so much, so I'm kind of sad that it's gone, but at the same time I'm excited because I have so many other perfumes. Um, I'll link my perfume collection down below if you guys wanted to see that. But yeah, so this one is officially out of it. Uh, this is the Cool Way Glow Oil Treatment for Shiny Hydrated Hair. I think I got this in an Ipsy bag as well. Um, I didn't really care for the scent. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't good. And I really feel like it didn't do much to keep my hair moisturized or hydrated. Um, so I wouldn't pick up the full size of this. I also finished a miniature Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie lipstick in the shade Get Ready. Um, I think this was from an Ipsy bag like over a year ago, but this was the color. Um, there's like enough to swatch it for you. I wore this one like a lot, um, obviously, because I used it up, but yeah. Um, I loved the formula of this as well, so I would definitely pick up a full size one of these um, once I work through some of my other lipsticks. I also got this in an Ipsy bag, and it's the Pixi Flawless Beauty Primer. Um, this was not my favorite. It had a slight tint to it, and it kind of made me feel greasy. Um, so I didn't really enjoy this. Um, I would much prefer something else. Next is something, I believe I got this in my FabFitFun box that I got last year as well. And it's the Dermalogica skin hydrating booster and this felt like water in the hands but it really felt like it did miracles for my skin so like i would just take it drop a little bit of water in my hands rub it on my face um because it it's like a moisturizer you can either add it to a moisturizer or use it on its own i used it on its own and i felt like it was wonderful but um yeah so i would definitely repurchase this i don't know if i will right away because i'm still working on other moisturizers but for sure in the future at some point i would definitely do this again. Next is the Peach Bellini Scent Portable Refill from Bath & Body Works, and this is in my car currently. Um, love this scent, love the scent portables. They're so cute. Um, yeah, so these are really great and they last a long time. Next, I haven't done an empties video in so long, holy crap. I finished this like forever ago but this is the EOS hand lotion I don't remember the scent but it's the pink one as you can see um, I did not like this at all this scent was not excellent it was just kind of like meh and it didn't moisturize my hands it really didn't so I love their lip balms but their shaving cream and their lotions I'm not extraordinarily down for so I would not repurchase that one And then this is the Epiche Purifying Exfoliant. Um, this was another Ipsy bag thing, I think. I don't know if you guys can see that at all. Um, but I loved this stuff so much. It was a great exfoliant. I would use it in the shower. The grains were really like small, but also kind of big. And it was just awesome. Um, so I loved this. Would definitely purchase the full size. This here is the Clinique Lash Doubling Mascara, and this was just another little sample size. Um, I don't even know where all these came from. They were just sitting in my collection, but this is what the brush looks like. Um, it's, I don't know. I hated this mascara, honestly. It flaked on me. It didn't do anything extraordinary. It like made my eyelashes darker because it's black, and then that was it. Like It didn't volumize, it didn't lengthen, it didn't anything. Um, and then it would just flake like immediately. So I would not purchase this ever. Um, and I really hope I don't have any more samples just hanging out in my collection because that would not be cool because I don't want to use it ever again. Um, next, I was super proud of this one. This is the Essence Silk Touch or Silky Touch Blush in the shade number 10, Adorable. 
and this was a um, gifted to me by one of my friends here on YouTube I don't think she makes videos anymore but her name was Kelly so if she does I'll definitely link her down below but um, we did an exchange and she sent this to me and I loved it um, so yeah but it took me forever to finish it because I've been working on like finishing my like product collections I guess um, so I've been working on finishing this blush and it took forever but I finally did it um, so I was super proud of myself for that one and then the last two makeup related I don't know finished are these two little pans from my naked two palette I cannot for the life of me remember what two shades they were but right before I left on vacation I depotted my naked two palette so I will never know but just I don't know I was super pumped um, that I finished these because whoever finishes an eyeshadow like nobody so I finished two of them and I was like so excited um, so I kept the little pans but now I can throw them away and then the last thing I wanted to share with you guys is a food favorite and I don't normally keep food wrappers but this was just so awesome I had to share it so this is the Talenti Talenti um, Gelato and this one was in the flavor Caribbean Coconut. I've never tried any of the other flavors um, but this one was so good and I love gelato. I'm not huge on ice cream anymore. I used to work at what is that Cold Stone? It wasn't super awesome. Like I just had too much ice cream so it was I'm not super down for it anymore but I love gelato and like frozen yogurt so I picked this guy up and this one is vegetarian, gluten-free, HFCS free, I don't know what that means, but it's free, and kosher. And the ingredients are literally milk, sugar, cream, coconut, dextrose, carob gum, and vanilla. Like, that's it. Are you serious? So, yeah. And then for a half cup, it's only 190 calories, which is not bad. So, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I loved this. I got mine, I think, at like Walmart or Target. I've seen them everywhere. I haven't tried any other flavors, but I definitely want to. If you have, let me know what your favorite ones are down in the comments below. So that is everything that I have for you guys today. So until next time, I will talk to you later. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, because why not? And then, yeah, just subscribe. It's free, it's fun. We get to hang out. It's cool. But until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.